Okay, I was asked how I made my um, hat stand, and I'm not very good in front of the camera, so excuse my stuff. But anyway, um, basically I just used plumbing parts, um, a bunch of tees, a bunch of 90 degree elbows, and a whole lot of pieces of pipe. Um, and and a, a hacksaw to cut them and probably a miter box is a good idea so they're nice and straight and some of the pieces I glued with an ABS uh, glue you can get all this stuff at Home Depot and um, or whatever your local um, hardware sort of store is anyway um, I, I came up with the idea myself uh, I needed something that was portable and so this is an old light stand. I think if I were to start over, I would get a shorter one because when you have kids, they can't reach it. So if you can get one that's, you know, up here instead, it would help. Um, so basically when I get there, I raise the, the stand and I put on my pipe pieces. So in the, the bottom one, it's a T. You can see I've painted them black just so they look a little nicer. That is glued. That is glued. That is glued. I think, yeah, actually all of this part is, oh no, this one came unglued. Um, and this one, I've got a hook on it so that it holds um, boas and lays. So I just put the biggest one at the bottom and I just slide it on. Oh yes, right. I had to drill. That's right. I had to drill the hole in the bottom of all the T's. So make sure that your um, pipe is going to be big enough. Yeah, this stuff was, this was not the right size. I, I, what is the size here? Just a minute. <clears throat> External measurement here is one and a half inches. Internal is, I think it's one, maybe one and a quarter. Anyway, you just have to make sure that it's going to be able to fit over the pole. So basically, I put that on and I made some spacers. So I, I bought some connectors and I glued them on. Again, I'll move forward. Um, connectors that glue with a piece of pipe inside just so that I've got some spacers. And I slide on and then Depending on how many hats I'm going to use is how many arms I put on. And another spacer. Oops, I already have a spacer made it. And my very top one, I didn't. Um, I didn't drill a hole in the top so it actually fits on the, on the top. And more. Like I said, see how tall it gets? It's a little too tall. I would rather it was shorter. I can shorten the legs a little bit. There we go. And looks like I need a little more space. Oh, wrong one. Like I said, I'm not behind, not in front of the camera that often. I'm a photographer. I'm behind it. Anyway, the very top one, um, I didn't drill the hole in the top and then it just fits on top, except it's not. Um, and size wise, they get a little smaller as you go up. My bottom one is, in case you want to know, length from elbow to elbow, almost 20 inches. And then they go up 15. 15, 15, and the top, 12, and then the hats fit on here, so, um, yeah. And the pegs are about five inches from top to the bottom of the elbow. There you go.